Winter, winter, winter. Winter forecasting is about balancing all the variables. You get it right and you stand tall. You get it wrong and your forecast can come crashing down. This year, I'm going to solve the winter weather puzzle by unstacking the season's forecast, connecting block stacking to the complexities of the atmosphere. Each season, meteorologists look at long range signals to gain an edge on how warm, cold, dry, wet, or snowy it could be. You've likely heard of El Nino and his sister La Nina, but what exactly are they? How are ocean temperatures in the Pacific, drought in the Philippines, and a milder winter in Michiana all connected? Teleconnections are a linkage between weather changes occurring across widely separated regions of the globe. It sounds like wires used for worldwide communication, and in a way, it is. It's a response from the atmosphere playing telephone from the tropics to the poles. It's all connected. According to NOAA, the developing El Nino is forecast to peak strong and could be one of the strongest ever recorded. The term El Nino has been a common weather term for over 30 years. You may even know it as the warming of the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean. But there's more to it. It's the connection between ocean temperatures and a change in weather patterns. During neutral conditions, surface trade winds blow westward across the equatorial Pacific. Blowing across the ocean surface, these winds result in a westward current. Warmer water near the Philippines means rising moist air in the atmosphere, more rain in the western Pacific. What goes up must come down. The rising air sinks near Peru and the cycle continues. We call this the Walker Circulation after Sir Gilbert Walker, a British scientist that made the connection. La Nina is similar to neutral conditions, just more extreme. Stronger trade winds east to west and more rainfall in the western Pacific. El Nino is just the opposite. The trade winds weaken, the surface wind is more west to east, and warmer water moves from the Philippines to Peru, and the walker circulation shifts. Heavy rain is closer to South America, and the Philippines are in the sinking dry zone. The change in weather patterns in the tropics is connected to more northerly latitudes. The Pacific jet stream strengthens and becomes an amplified west to east storm track across the southern United States. The Aleutian low becomes more dominant, which then shifts the polar jet stream, changing storm tracks in the northern U.S., putting typically warmer and drier conditions in place. Which brings us to this year. A strong El Nino is expected to be a major player and tip the balance of winter storms. Let's get back to our block tower and how it represents a seasonal forecast. Each block is a weather factor. The Eastern Atlantic, the Western Pacific, the Scandinavian patterns, the Arctic and Atlantic oscillations are all teleconnections just like La Nina and El Nino. Then there's the polar vortex, warm air, cold air, lake temperatures, climate change. It's all part of the game. Just like in weather, some blocks slide out easy without much impact. Others, it feels like the weight of the entire column is on that block. The average winter snowfall in South Bend is 51.4 inches. The average length of this game is 5 to 15 minutes. When I make a seasonal forecast, I'm looking for any blocks that can make for a quick game or a long slog. In other words, what dominant weather factors will make for a short, mild, or long snowy winter. When El Nino is strong, very strong, it changes the game. This tricolored version of the game is a derivative of the original game with one wrinkle. A die determines what color block you have to pull. Let's say El Nino is every yellow block. And since it's strong, this die is loaded. And you end up having to move every yellow block first. Think about how that could change the game. It would change the average play dramatically. A strong El Nino makes a short, mild winter more likely. It's not a lock, but it also makes below normal snowfall more likely. Most years, I'm trying to balance all these blocks and pick just the right few. Not this year, only a few blocks have to get knocked loose to make the tower fall. So my 2024 winter outlook calls for a quicker game, a milder winter and less snowfall. 35 inches of snow and no nights below zero. Last winter was already one of the warmest and least snowy winters on record, so it would be significant if this year tops it. 
but we did have a blizzard before Christmas. A mild winter doesn't mean no winter.